Now to a growing problem in Sacramento, people waking up to find their means of transportation Same gone. Same story. You lock up your bike, come back, and it's gone. It's, it's been happening a lot right, right now with both burglaries and anyway, robberies. But it seems like it's gotten compared worse. To last. The Sacramento so Bicycle Advocates the say they've seen how you can protect your out on. Oh, screw it. I'm already here. Might as well just steal my bike back, you know. What, what's the worst that can happen? Um, so I met up with them like late afternoon and I see him like sitting on a bench with my bike. It was very shady. He was like wearing a hat and everything, a mask and everything. And once he like was just a little bit farther away from me, I was just like, oh, I'm just take off. So I just like, just took off. Like Andy, many UC Davis students consider their bike their main mode of transportation as the city of Davis is perfectly optimized for both bicyclists and drivers. But what unfolds when the unspeakable occurs and these students become victims of bike theft? How does the sudden absence of their cherished bike shatter their lives? I found out my bike got stolen and then I posted a thing to the UC Davis Police Department. I was very nervous. So I posted to Austin Found Channel, and then there was this girl who uh, always searched up like Facebook Marketplace, and she would always like go through everything. And she she told me, "Oh, I'll keep an eye out." And then eventually, one day, like she messages me, and then she says that, "Oh, I found your bike. Uh, it's on Facebook Marketplace." And then she sends me like a link, and I click on it, and yeah, it's my bike. The first bike I lost was when I was a freshman. Um, I actually visited Davis and I left on a bike over the summer. It got stolen and they even took the U-lock too. So everything was gone and it was like a $500 bike. And I loved biking back then and you know, I've, I've ridden that bike for a long time so it was very upsetting. I think one of the missions of transportation services is to, you know, support the movement of people on campus. I mean, ultimately, everyone here is here to support the educational empire. I think we have robust issues with bike theft. Um, you know, we have folks who come onto campus with angle grinders in the middle of the day, um, and an angle grinder will defeat just about any lock. There is kind of a attitude that a lot of people may not consider investing as much money as they should in bike security probably because they accept it as a known problem right so why buy a hundred dollar lock if you know your bike is going to be stolen and that was one of the big reasons that i kind of pioneered bringing bike index which is the bike registration system that we have because then people can self-report their bikes as stolen um, it's a public tool that can be used to kind of report when bikes get stolen so more folks can see that that bike is stolen and have a better chance of recovery well, I just decided to, you know, um, walk or take the bus everywhere because um, it's kind of a hassle when you have to get to class and you realize your bike's stolen and you're late because of that, you know. And then always having to buy a new bike, I mean, like, even if it's used, it's at least, you know, 50 bucks. If you buy it from your friend, if you buy it from Target or whatever, it's like 100 bucks, you know, so it's a lot. It's, it's financially burning, that's why I'm walking now, because I can't afford to buy a new bike, because if it gets stolen, that's another like 100, 200 out of my bank account, you know, so yeah, it's, it's very burdening. So after my bike was stolen, uh, I resorted to like using the bus to, to get to campus, but yeah, I would just use my use the bus and then maybe like walk to other places where the bus might not be able to. Oh, it was definitely harder to like, uh, go to like downtown and everything because biking is like my main source of transportation so without my bike it was definitely harder to like um, I don't know, go to like the supermarket go to like Trader Joe's, Safeway like all that seems like very like inaccessible to me now because I lost my bike If they want to take it, they go steal it doesn't matter what lock you have you have the most fanciest you lock, they don't take it if, if, if they can't take the whole bike, they'll take a part of it, like the seat or like the part that's not locked, like the back wheel, from what I've witnessed. The best thing to do is first report it to the police. Um, you know, 
we have a really good um, online reporting system here at UC Davis. There's a good online reporting system in the city of Davis. So it's a, you don't have to contact anybody. You just log on, you can put a photo onto the report of the last time. I do encourage people, have a recent photo of your bike. Um, you know, bikes, even though they might be sold in one way, I think most of us make them our own in some way. Report it on st as stolen on bike index, because that's where folks like myself make regular habit of looking at the bike stolen on there, especially if I'm on something like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp um, or places where used bikes get sold and it's like, that's a suspicious good deal. Then you go and look at stolen bikes and you're like, that's that suspicious good deal. Um, and you know, I know I'm not unique in, somewhat, in being someone who does that. Um, I think there's a number of folks around here that do that sort of reconnaissance. But I think really it's, report it to the PD, put it out on Bike Index, and keep your eyes out. Um, and, it, and one of the cool things about our registration programs is as long as you have it registered and you report it as stolen, if you see your bike at the ARC, we'll go cut your lock and give it to you. You get your bike back. And we can't do that if your bike's not registered. Um, because if it's registered, there's a serial, there's a, reg, there's a trail of responsibility that you own that bike. If it's not registered, we can't really take you for your word that, oh, here's a photo of my bike in some other place. It's like, okay, when did you take that photo? I have a hard time believing you on that. But if you are in possession of your bike when we register it, that's to us a sign of this is your bike. So if your bike shows up five months later and it's at the library and you're like, hey, bicycle program, I found my stolen bike. Can you come take it? And we'll say, absolutely, we'll be there in 10 minutes. Um, and that's one of the many services that the bicycle program kind of offers.